we see the materials around us. These materials are related to matter. In science, matter is defined as any object that occupies some space and has mass. You may see utensils and crockery in kitchen. A large variety of things in the shops and pieces of furniture in the classroom. These are the examples of matter because they occupy space and possess mass. Materials around us Some of the common articles that we observe in our daily lives and the corresponding materials they are made of are listed in the table. Properties of materials Have you ever wondered why cooking utensils are made of metals? Why are they not made of plastic or glass? Of course, utensils made of certain special types of glass and plastic have been developed for use in microwave ovens. It is astonishing to see vessels made from such materials used for cooking. We are accustomed to the idea that plastic or glass items perish if brought too close to a flame. An axe head is made of iron because iron is quite cheap and very hard. When it is properly shaped and sharpened, it can easily cut through wood. But if that same axe is used to try and cut an iron sheet, it will not work. A cutting edge of another design and made of some other type of metal or alloy is needed for that purpose. So, the choice of material depends on the purpose and the operating conditions. Appearance The appearance of a substance can be deceptive. You must have seen the polished stone slabs in kitchens, but that is not their natural look. If you look at the sides that are not polished, then you can observe that the stones are rough in their natural state. However, metals have a peculiar shine. This is known as luster. Different metals have different types of luster. Gold has a yellowish shine quite different from that of silver, aluminium and steel. Wood, stone, sulphur and cloth do not have such a luster. Hardness Materials or objects that can be scratched easily are soft. For example, graphite is a soft material and can be scratched easily. Materials or objects that cannot be scratched easily are hard. For example, diamond is the hardest naturally occurring substance and hence is used for cutting glass. Talcum powder which is obtained from soapstone is the softest substance. Solubility of materials in water Substances that disappear in water are said to be soluble in water whereas others that do not mix with water are said to be insoluble in water. The solubility of sand and sugar in water is shown in the animation. Solubility of sugar and sand in water Take water in beakers A and B. Put the sugar in beaker B and sand in beaker A. Dissolve them with the help of a glass rod. After some time, you may observe the sugar in the beaker B is disappeared whereas sand in the beaker A is not disappeared. So, we can say that sugar is soluble in water whereas sand is insoluble in water. Solubility Take samples of vinegar, lemon juice, mustard oil, coconut oil and kerosene. Take five beakers and fill them half with water. Add a few spoonfuls of the samples to each of these and stir them well. Let them stand for five minutes.
you will observe that vinegar and lemon juice mix with water while mustard oil, coconut oil and kerosene do not mix with water. Object may float or sink in water. In this activity, we will demonstrate that some substances float on the surface of the water while others sink. Take a beaker half filled with water. Take some substances such as wax, mustard oil, stone and iron nails. Put them into water one by one. You will observe that wax and mustard oil float on the surface of water because the density of these substances is lower than that of water while stone and iron nails sink into water because they are denser than water. Transparency Take a sheet of paper and look through it towards a lighted bulb and observe. You will observe that you cannot see anything. Now put two to three drops of any oil and spread it on the sheet of paper. Look again towards the lighted bulb through that portion of the paper on which the oil has been spread. You will observe that the bulb is more clearly visible than before, but you still cannot see clearly through the oiled paper. The materials through which objects can be seen, but not clearly, are known as translucent. Conductivity of heat When you heat one end of a metal rod, after some time you will observe that the other end of the metal rod becomes hot. But if you heat one end of a glass rod, after some time you may observe that the other end of the glass rod does not become hot. It proves that metal rods are good conductors of heat and glass rod is a bad conductor of heat. Combustibility Materials that can burn easily are called combustible materials. For example, paper, wood, cloth and wax are combustible materials because they catch fire easily, while an iron wire is a non-combustible material because it does not catch fire. Magnetism If you ever played with a magnet, you would have observed that some substances such as iron nails, hairpins, etc. are attracted by the magnet. These are called magnetic substances, while some substances such as plastic, rubber, wood, etc. are not attracted by the magnet. So they are called non-magnetic substances.